In this video, we're gonna talk about identifying your real trading problem. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so we all know that when we struggle with trading, we think, you know what, well, we've got a problem, we need to fix it. What is the problem? And it's actually the real problem, if you like, is identifying what is the real issue. Very often we say it's this, it's that, the other, and we're wrong. And we go down a rabbit hole of trying to fix it and we don't try and fix the root cause. So let's have a look at identifying the real trading problem. So number one, do you actually have a problem? You know, in reality, you know, let's say you have had great months in trading, you're a day trader, you've had a fantastic run, and now you've got a bad month. Is that a problem? It's probably not. It's just a law of averages in trading. If you've had a very good run, you've got a decent hit rate, you are going to have a run of bad luck. Well, I could say luck, but it's just statistically. If you're tossing a coin enough times, you're gonna have a massive run of tails, a massive run of heads. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, so to speak. So, you know, actually looking at it subjectively and saying, you know, have I actually got a problem? I'm doing very, very well. It's just a little bit of a drawdown on my account. Obviously, I need to be aware and manage it, but I should expect this. This isn't something that I'm doing differently or I'm, I've am i got a, a fundamental issue with. It's just the natural way that trading tends to happen. I've had my good run. I've got a, a good drawdown now. I should expect to carry back on uh, soon enough. So all I can do is kind of ride it out. So just, just basically looking and saying, have, have I actually got a problem? Is it, I'll put it into perspective. You know, a few losing trades isn't a problem. It's, it's, it's the way the market works. However, you know, if you look deeper and you recognize there could be an issue, you need to look onto the next step. Okay, number two, is it the market conditions? We've talked about this before, guys. Very often, it's not you. You're trading it very, very well. You're trading it very professionally. You're trading your plan to the T. The conditions have just changed. You're trading volatility expansion. You're trading breakouts. And we've now gone into a quiet period because it's holiday time or it waiting for news or just the transition market as it is, and you're still trying to trade those 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 extra juicy moves, those high ATR moves that are not happening. It's not you as such. It's not your problem with a trading psychology problem as such. It's more that you're using the wrong tool for the job, and you probably need to work on a, um, a strategy for um, spotting when that change in phase occurs in the market and knowing when to pull out or when to implement another strategy. So, you know, is it you or is it the market conditions? Very often, and actually, this is more often than you realize, guys, is that very, very often people are using the wrong strategy in the wrong market. They're saying, I'm gonna hold on to my trade because I shouldn't be holding on to trades, but then the market's in not really in that kind of expansion phase. It's in really just a, a range bound choppy phase and you're in it, holding it, but likelihood is gonna come back at some point and you're looking for that extended targets. So you're trying to force the wrong type of strategy into the wrong type of environment. It's a big one. And then we kind of go down the, we try and then to look at something else to try and make us hold trades longer. In reality, we're just not in the right market for that for that, for that that type of trade. So check it out. Is it the market conditions? I to start looking at yourself. Okay, now number three, is it, just, is it trading or is it in all areas of life? So this is, you know, not going too deep into this, but if you are going round and you're really angry every trade, you every losing trade, but then you also find out that every time you're out in the street, you're punching people in the face or, or you're getting angry at people, extreme, all right, you get the point. If you're getting angry at all areas of your life, you're going to have to solve that uh, on your own kind of, on your own time without thinking about trading. It's just your what you're doing at the moment is just being extrapolated into your trading. If you're being angry for day to day, you're gonna be angry at trading. If you're being frustrated with day to day, get easily frustrated in traffic jams, people cutting you up in cars, uh, whatever, people in the street, busyness, uh, train, whatever, the, the frustration that people can get from day to day life, if they're carrying that over into your trading, you need to work on that as a whole, as opposed to focusing just on your trading and saying, oh, why am I getting angry at my training? Why am I getting frustrated at my training? No, but actually, you're probably getting easily angry or easily frustrated or whatever it may be at life in general. Work on that as a whole issue and you know books or help, seek help or uh, whatever you need to do to do that. Okay, so that's something definitely to look at. So once you've kind of done that, you've said, is it, is it, have I actually got a problem? Is it the market conditions? Is it all areas of life or is it just my trading? And you say, okay, well, it is just my trading. It's just in trading. You've got to work out how to solve. So 
The good thing is now you know that there is an issue. You're like, okay, I know that it's none of those things. I know that it's just in my trading. How do I solve it? And so you now need to make the decision. Do you reach out to a kind of mentor or coach, trading coach? Do you kind of go to the good usual psychology trading books and look through those and say, hey, can I find a tool or a technique or a tip to help me identify you know, the root cause of this? Is it, what is the root cause? And, and keep working, keep iterating down here to say, what actually is the problem? Is angry, okay, if I'm angry at trading or frustrated at trading, what's causing me frustration? Is it a string of losses? Is it this, is it that? Find out the pattern and the path, analyze your previous trade and see where that trigger formed. And you will see the patterns, you'll see, hey, something happened that made me do X. And then, You've got to go down the path of, okay, well, I realize that this is happening when this is happening. When a, oh, sorry, when A is happening, X is happening, or you get the point. Now I need to find a, a method to solve it. And that's when you go to your resources, like your books, your psychology books, uh, your blogs, your videos, or reaching out to kind of a mentor or whatever it may be, and saying, hey, this is my problem. I'm, I'd like some solutions to work over this specific problem. And I'm always an advocate of one thing at a time, guys. It's very, very common for us to have multiple kind of issues with trading that we're struggling with, and we try and fix everything. I want to try and be more disciplined. I want to try and do that. I want to try and do this to the other. You sit down in the day, and it's, it's a struggle. So just one thing at a time. But important thing is just to make sure it, you have actually got an issue with it. Uh, it's not the market conditions which you can adapt from a practical perspective and operations perspective. Um, it's not it's not a broad thing that you need to address as a, as a person in your life. And then if it's in trading, how do I solve it? And that's going to come down to nailing exactly what it is and then coming out with a strategic step-by-step -step plan over the next period of time to work towards goals to fixing that, not making money to fixing that. And then you'll make some progression. All right, guys, if you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up and comments in the comment section below. As always, good trading. Take care. Keep the risk managed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.